Hello, this is going to be our second lesson in Unit 16 for 5th grade geometry, classifying shapes. Last lesson we talked about lines, line segments, and angles, and the different kinds of each. Well, we use these different kinds of lines and angles in order to name different shapes. So we're going to be talking about the basic shapes and their different attributes or characteristics. So this is number 60 at the top. It is in your quarter one math notes. Locate it, cut it out, glue it in your notebook, and this is on the back of your notes from the last lesson. So, this is a triangle. Tri meaning three, angle meaning angle. We have three angles. There are three different kinds of triangles. Now I'm going to color coat this for you so you can see the differences and, and match the different shapes, uh, I mean different kinds of triangles with the different definitions, but you do not have to do that. The first one that we're going to talk about is a right triangle. A right triangle, if we remember a right angle, is exactly 90 degrees, and we can tell it is a right angle based on the square in the corner. So a right triangle has a right angle and if you guys remember the word perpendicular we're going to do that for perpendicular. Perpendicular are lines that create a right angle when they cross. So it has one set of perpendicular lines, which is right there. So that is a right triangle. Right. The next one I'm going to do in pink. It is obtuse. Obtuse angle is one that is so big that it's obtuse. Obtuse means more than 90 degrees. So an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle and two acute angles. An obtuse angle is the, there's only one obtuse angle when we have an obtuse triangle because otherwise it would not close properly. So we have one obtuse angle and the other ones have to be two acute angles. And if we remember from our lesson last time, it means, acute means less than 90 degrees. So an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle and two acute angles. Now the next one I'm going to do is, let's see, let's do purple. Acute. Acute triangles have all acute angles. So, there are other ways that we can classify triangles and we'll get into more detail when we get into classifying triangles where we can name them by their angles and we can also name them by their sides. Right now we're just talking about the angles. Now the next one is a rectangle. A rectangle and a square. They both have four right angles and sides that are perpendicular. So they have four right angles, which we can see by the squares. They have sides that are parallel. And sides that are perpendicular. Now let's write the perpendicular first. 
perpendicular. And we also saw do that one. And then we also have two pairs of parallel lines. Now if we remember parallel lines, mean that they'll never cross. This set right here is, they are parallel. These two are parallel to each other, so there's one set, two sets. They'll never cross. So those are the attributes of a rectangle and a square. Okay, a rhombus goes right here. I actually wrote the wrong one right there, so we will put square right here. And we'll match our colors with it. A rhombus has equal sides. All the sides are the same length. So it has four equal sides. Two opposite acute angles. And then it has two opposite obtuse angles. Angles. These are acute and then these are obtuse. Okay, so a square. A square has four right angles. It also has four equal sides. And the opposite sides are parallel. Now the next one is a parallelogram. A parallelogram has two, has parallel lines. So this is a, let's see here. These are both parallelograms. Parallel, like parallel lines. They have parallel lines. two opposite acute angles and two opposite obtuse angles. Now a Rectangle, this is a rectangle, which is a special kind of parallelogram. It has four right angles. Sides that are perpendicular. That's our symbol for perpendicular. And two pairs of parallel lines. All right, the next one is a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a four-sided figure and it only has one pair of parallel sides. Of parallel sides. A trapezoid, if it has a right angle,
the legs of those angles will be perpendicular. Okay, so if a right angle, if there's a right angle on the trapezoid, like right here, then these legs right here will be perpendicular, forming a right angle. All right, we're gonna get a, let's get this one again. And we're gonna do a kite is our last one. Not like the one that you fly, but a kite is, it has two pairs of adjacent. Now here is a new word. Adjacent means next to, next to. So it has two pairs of adjacent sides that, sides that are equal. And then it has, so we have these, these are the same and these are the same. They're adjacent because they're right next to each other and they touch. And it also has one pair of equivalent, which is equal opposite angles. So we're going to leave this page blank because we're going to glue in our review. So at the very top, I'm just going to put topic 16 review and we're going to leave it blank because we're going to glue our review in there. So that is classifying shapes.